This is a Sister Wives deep dive about every house Cody, Mary, Janelle, Robin, and Christine have lived in since 2010. So since starting to film the show Sister Wives, the Browns have lived in over 15 houses combined. They've moved a lot, so let's take a quick tour of everywhere they've lived and watch until the very end for details about Christine's brand new house in Utah. In the meantime, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more Sister Wives updates. At first, when we were introduced to the Browns, they shared one large house in Lehigh, Utah, and by all appearances, they seemed like a functional, happy family living under one roof. We had no idea how badly everything would unravel. The house was over 6,000 square feet, with three separate apartments all connected on the inside. So it was three apartments that had their own entrances, kitchens, laundry rooms, and master bedrooms. So each wife had their own space, and the house was actually designed for a plural family. We know that Christine really actually hated living on the lower floor, also called the basement, and her experiences there led to her saying heck no when Cody wanted to live in one big house again down the road years later. Janelle felt that Mary was restricting access to her area or even her stairs in Lehigh for the children, and that also seemed to be like a point of conflict, but early in the show they didn't like talk about that, it's only later that we found out. The Browns ended up leaving the Lehigh house in a hurry when they thought the police were investigating them for polygamy. In 2011, they packed their bags and basically ran away to Las Vegas, where they embarked on a new adventure in a new state. Cody had pitched it as like a fun place full of games for the kids, but they started struggling immediately living apart. They were all in like these Spanish style rentals far from each other, but within the same school district that they liked, that's how they chose where they wanted to be. And the teenagers, and probably especially Hunter, really struggled to adjusting to Vegas. So it's super ironic that Hunter is living there now as an adult working in healthcare. Fun fact. So eventually, a huge storyline was that they were trying their best to build new houses for every wife on a cul-de-sac, and getting approved for the mortgages was like no joke because it was nerve-wracking, especially for Robin because she had accumulated some debt coming out of her last marriage. But they did actually get the new houses built, and they were thrilled. Like, this was like peak happiness. Mary got her wet bar and thought she had the best kitchen. They were in a gated community, and apparently Robin had a trampoline and playground in her backyard. According to the Las Vegas Review, the first floor of the houses had like several den office spaces, plus a bonus room behind the kitchen. The master suites were mostly like on the first floor, and all the other bedrooms were on the second floor with two bathrooms with full baths. So the houses were beautiful. It was a huge upgrade from wherever they had ever lived before. The family seemed to have a lot of great years in the cul-de-sac in Vegas, but Cody got the itch, seemingly out of nowhere in 2018, to move away and get away from Vegas, the place that he had pitched so well as like a fun place. Yeah, he was not enjoying anymore. And the wives weren't really on board initially, given that they were so settled there and that some of their kids were in the middle of their high school years. So he changed their mind and they ended up buying the Coyote Pass property in Flagstaff, Arizona. Yes, despite the real estate agent telling them that the coyotes that go there have the plague. I mean, they loved the pond for some reason, saw the angels singing, and just went for it. Selling their homes in the nice cul-de-sac that they had tried so hard to get, and moving once again into rentals far away from each other in Arizona, until, you know, whenever they could afford to build on Coyote Pass with no infrastructure whatsoever there. So. Just deciding which plot of land they would all get, who will be in the trees, seemed like a never-ending saga 
for seasons and seasons. Christine ended up buying a house in Flagstaff and initially Janelle, Mary and Robin rented. Mary and Janelle lived in multiple, multiple rentals there. Mary had one rental where she had to move out because of angry neighbors. The next one she had had an elevator. It was gorgeous, but the driveway looked really hard to go up. <laughs> and there was another one that was really nice, but she recently moved out of that one. And honestly, she seems to have moved out of Flagstaff and moved to Utah near or at her BNB Lizzie's Heritage Inn. But this is kind of based on fans seeing Mary with like moving stuff or whatever. Mary's never confirmed anything. It's probably going to be on the next season. We just suspect that she does live in Parowan, Utah now. Lizzie's Heritage Inn used to be owned by Mary's ancestors. She had said at the grand opening on Instagram, this is an old family home of mine, built by my great-great-grandparents in 1970 and occupied by four generations until it sold out of the family in the 1980s. So it was a dream to get it back in the family. Robin ended up buying an almost million dollar house and the down payment was paid for according to Janelle in part with the money she had from the sale of her Vegas house which is pretty controversial. It's huge inside Robin's house. It's a five bedroom, four bathroom house in Flagstaff. It sits on multiple acres of land, has two master suites, a four car garage, and like a really nice kitchen. So this is where Cody spends most of his time clearly. And in my opinion, it's the most luxurious option. So then when things fell apart between Christine and Cody, she sold her house in Flagstaff. The house had a great view and three bedrooms and three bathrooms. It's there where Cody and Christine had the infamous argument while he was like installing a door to stop the cat from going into certain areas <laughs> that Christine and Cody had an argument and Christine says that Cody said that they weren't going to be intimate anymore. And it was really the kiss of death to their marriage. Christine started like packing up his stuff immediately, etc. So Cody wanted Janelle to buy Christine's house, but Janelle wanted to do her own thing. She wanted her own house and Janelle ended up living in an RV on Coyote Pass to try to push things forward on the property. She also lived in an apartment for some time and seems like some of her pushing for Coyote Pass may have worked because according to reports, two plots of land now have been paid for. So the door may be open for Janelle to build a home there. But I mean, does she still want to do that now that she's separated from Cody? Like, I don't know what's going to happen. But as of now, Janelle lives somewhere in Flagstaff that has a good patio. She said, the place I'm living now has a great patio. I've always wanted a great patio where it wasn't so blazing hot um, Vegas so you could sit outside. So I splurged on some patio furniture this year and I'm loving my coffee on the patio. This is a cool, peaceful Sunday morning. So who knows if Janelle will un end up building on Coyote Pass or not at this point, but you know, we want her to be happy where she is. Christine then ended up in a townhouse in Utah. Her first place is like a single woman and recently bought a brand spanking new house with her fiance, David. This is a whirlwind romance. I'm not sure they've known each other a year yet. Not sure about that. She and David got this house for 770,000 in March, 2023, according to reports. And we know that she's looking to build a lot of fun stuff in the backyard for the grandkids. That's like the idea. She wants like a large counter when she can have a cool drink set up for entertaining, plus a hot tub, shed, fire pit, a garden. She also wants like a playground for the grandkids with like a sunken trampoline and a spot for RVs. Who knows? Maybe so that Janelle can park hers there. Who knows? They are also building like a bigger deck in the back and everyone looked and overall everyone's extremely happy for Christine um, to have this new house after, you know, all the years, even living in the basement, right? I mean, Christine deserves this new house, guys. 
All right, let me know what you think of all this in the comments which house you thought was the best, which, you know, who has the best house, chime in below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys!